Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove background noise from your recording and streaming inside of OBS using a tool called Reaper Filter. And before we actually get started with the video, I just want to show you what a massive difference it makes. So here's my current setup without the Reaper Filter. You can hear a lot of background noise, a lot of city sounds, a lot of static white noise. And then when I add the Reaper filter on with the current setup, most of that goes away. So it can be very, very helpful. So in order to install Reaper so that you can use it in OBS, you need to go to reaper.fm slash download.php. I'll put a direct link in the description. And you need to download the version associated with your Windows version. So if you are running 64-bit Windows, you should get 64-bit 32-bit Windows. Get the 32-bit version. If you need to know how to check what kind of Windows you're using, open up the search bar in Windows, run dxdiag, and it'll tell you where it says operating system, right here, if you have a 32-bit OS or a 64-bit OS. So download that, go ahead and install it, and then inside of OBS, what you'll be able to do is click on the settings icon for your microphone, go down to filters, and you can add in the deeper filter. So to do that, we click the plus sign, you go to vst2.x plugin, you can give it a name if you want, something like Reaper Filter, and then from the drop down, R-E-A-F-I-R, uh, -E basically short for Reaper Filter, underscore standalone, and you should have it in the left hand side. Now before we actually edit that filter and set it up, what I would recommend you do is you actually have headphones to use. Plug your headphones in, make sure the audio from your desktop is output into the headphones, and then you click on this, uh, the gear icon once again, go to Advanced Audio Properties. And what we'll be able to do now is enable audio monitor. So while we are testing the filter, basically getting it set up, we can hear the output audio after the filter is applied to the microphone, so that we can hear what it sounds like uh, before we actually start recording. So if you have headphones turned on, you can change this to monitor and output temporarily. You only need it while we're testing it. You can disable this after um, we have everything set up. And that'll allow you to hear your audio as you talk into it to test it before you actually start doing the real recording. So very useful. Just don't do this if you are outputting your audio, your desktop audio, to your speakers that would be basically be loud in the room. Because if you have a microphone and speakers, and the uh, microphone audio is coming out of the speakers, it's going to do a feedback loop, which will basically hurt your ears. So uh, make sure that your audio is outputting to a closed device, like headphones. Okay, so after you've done those two things, we can go back into the filters. So click on here, click filters. And for your beeper filter, I'm going to disable this one because it's redundant now. Open plugin interface. So you left click it on the audio filters, and you click open plugin interface. Now, while you're in here, you want the mode to be set to subtract. And the goal is going to be that when you're not talking, there should be no yellow bars popping up. So basically, the gray is your background noise, or the audio that's getting removed. And while you talk, you should see yellow bars, but only while you talk. That's the idea. Now, there is an automatic build noise profile. But I would recommend against using the automatic build noise profile because any sounds that aren't picked up while you actually are building that noise profile may show through when you're recording later. So as an alternative, you can set the edit mode to point smooth, and it'll give you a series of these little points you can click on. So basically these points allow you to create curves between the audio sound spectrum. And all you really need to do is take these points and put them high enough that all across this audio spectrum, while you're not talking, all of the audio that's being picked up by your microphone ends up as these little gray lines. So to do that, we just raise and lower these points. And by the way, if you need to add an extra points for more control, alt left click. And alt left click to remove them as well. But we raise and lower these points until they're high enough that the background noise is gone. So if I lower this down too much, what's going to happen is that there will be yellow audio bars, basically audio going through the mic, even when I'm not talking. That's not what we want, so we need to raise this until those go away. Now, the only problem is, 
Uh, if you raise them too much, it's going to start taking away from your microphone audio quality. So the trick is to make it high enough that it removes all the background noise, but low enough that your microphone still sounds clear and not robotic when you actually talk into it. If you live in a less noisy place than I do, uh, you'll probably have a lot less trouble, and you probably won't need to set these points so high. Um, but it's going to vary depending on where you're recording them. And because you should have audio monitoring turned on, you'll be able to hear your audio while you talk into it. So just keep raising and lowering these points, adjusting the curves, until it sounds right to you. When you're done, you can just close out of that. Make sure that Reaper filter over here, the eyeball, is enabled so that it's actually running. And then when you record, you'll be able to have the Reaper filter take out some of the background noise while you're actually recording and streaming instead of having to do it in an editor in post-production. Just be sure that before you close out of OBS or before you actually start recording or streaming, that you turn off the audio monitoring. So we go back to advanced audio properties and we make sure audio monitoring is off. So that's going to be it for this tutorial showing you how to remove background noise while you record or stream inside of OBS. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.